Um, like just not to be afraid to ask questions. Um, as Emily was saying, like the physiology like department is really opening and like really warming. So like ask them questions, ask them for help, ask them for advice, they're there to give it to you. Um, and it's not just like the advisors and like the faculty, but like the, the actual professors themselves. Um, like their classes might be, you know, a little challenging, but they themselves are there to help you. And that's something I wish I knew, you know, when I first came into the university is like ask for help when needed. Oh, yeah, so I would say that coming as an immigrant uh, five years ago and starting at the OBE was really hard for me because I didn't know about many opportunities and like doing an event like this was would be like really helpful to know about all of these events. And I would say the most important thing is to just get involved with as many clubs as you can at first, just to see what you like, and then stay with that specific club until later on. Um, so I agree with what both of them said. I would say that I wish that I knew to look into extracurriculars that I wanted to do earlier on, because I, I always knew that I wanted to volunteer at the hospital, and I didn't like I just kind of figured, oh, you can just sign up and do that. And it's kind of like such a process that it takes a while once you start that. So if you know you want to do something like get into research or um, get involved in a club or something, start that early if that's something you know you want to do. And then you can weed them out later and decide like which ones you want to stick with, because sometimes it takes longer than you expect to get into something. Um, for me, I would just say take initiative of your experience and customize it exactly to you. Don't try to look and glorify any like student that you're looking up to and be like, I want to do exactly what they did or like take everything with a grain of salt because do what makes you most happy and don't think you have to fit a mold. I actually think the people who do things that are more different, like study abroad, like I did that or like do things that are like outside of medicine like do like a sport or a club that's different, that's equally as valuable because your resume, you're going to want to present it to them and they're going to know you're smart. They're going to know your physio. Even if you do this major or any science thing, people know you're smart. They want to know, are you a real person? Can you connect with patients? So if you don't, I know with COVID, it's a little harder. Like, yeah, like kind of have a plan, but don't overstress because working and like doing things that are not health related because it's hard to get health things right now that's okay. And you're going to develop hard and soft skills in those things too, that you're going to be able to talk about. So just don't overstress and just do whatever is happy. That makes you happy. That's what I would say for sure. <laughs>